So clearly no apology forthcoming so far, no review that has taken place of the arrest uh, last week. Uh, we'll continue to track those developments uh, clearly as uh, this diplomatic war with the U.S. hots up. Let's uh, now change focus to events taking place in New Delhi. Remember, the government for the city-state uh, has yet to form Arvind Kejriwal yesterday going across to the people and asking for their opinion on whether he should take support from the Congress or the BJP. Our correspondent Rishika Barua now joins us live for more on this. Rishika, a, a gloomy, cloudy day in Delhi, and that's exactly what it looks like as far as uh, politics in this uh, city goes. Well, absolutely. Uh, just like there is no clarity here at Vijay Chowk, I can barely even see 50 meters. Uh, it seems like the stalemate and the clarity as far as the government formation in Delhi is concerned continues. Uh, yesterday after uh, the PSC meet of the Aam Admi Party, Arvind Kejriwal in fact came forth and said that he is once again going to knock on the people's doors. He's once again going to approach uh, the people of Delhi who have uh, well voted for the BJP, uh, which, is, which is the single largest party, but he wants to go back to the people and uh, through SMSs, through uh, you know phone calls, uh, through Twitter, Facebook and through uh, Lok Manches that are you know uh, small public meetings that will be organized in over 280 pockets, over 70 constituencies in Delhi. So he wants to go back to the people to ask them that even though the Ahmadmi Party doesn't have the clear numbers uh, to make the government, uh, you know, should they in fact make a minority government, should they in fact seek support from the Congress Party and make the government remember that on the 13th of December the Congress Party Party had rendered unconditional support to the Aam Aadmi Party. The Congress maintains that they do not want re-elections and in keeping with that democratic tradition, uh, they, they will render support to the Aam Aadmi Party. The Aam Aadmi Party, of course, had laid down 18 conditions, um, out of which 16, uh, the Congress said, that are executive decisions and, in fact, don't need legislative support. So. In the light of all these developments, yeah. uh, what we can tell you today is that nothing's changed in the past uh, four days and the Aam Aadmi Party is still waiting till Sunday. Uh, they've also given, in fact, 25 lakh letters. Uh, they've distributed right. it across uh, the city. They're trying to go back and reach out to the voters once again uh, to sort of seek a fresh mandate in a certain sense. So a lot of people, uh, I must add here, a lot of people believe that, you know, this is in fact undermining the secret ballot because elections are not fought on SMSs and phone calls. So there is one section of people who believe that the Aam Aadmi Party sure. should in fact go ahead, make a minority government, given the fact that the Congress is rendering support to them on the floor of the House. The other section, of course, believes that, you know, this is, this is democracy in its true sense. Uh, you know, Arvind Kejriwal going back to the people uh, to sort of seek uh, you know their opinion a plebiscite of sorts sure. to seek an opinion of the majority of people uh, whether or not the Aam Aadmi Party should go ahead and form the government so what exactly is going to happen well we're going to have to wait till Sunday to figure that out but in the meanwhile the lieutenant governor of Delhi has already recommended exactly. president's rule because the stalemate uh, as we can see continues